Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Superhero Wednesday, the day of the week where we like to get damn right down and nerdy. Yes, we like to uh, just talk about weird nerdy stuff. When I say weird, by the way, hopefully it doesn't get taken the wrong way because I'm, when I say weird, weird to me is a good term. Like, if you go, that's weird, I'm like, yeah, it's fucking epic, isn't it? Like, because the weird and wonderful to me is the best shit ever. And I love being a weird little fucking nerd. And hopefully you're a weird little nerd if you come along to look at this because we're doing another flex. And it's only a mini flex today, even though that that was a, that was the biggest uh, that was the biggest flex you'll ever. That's normal, tense, normal, tense. It doesn't even fucking move, does it? We are here to do another uh, little flex. We're going to call it a mini flex because it's a flex that I probably usually wouldn't do. Uh, sorry, we're going to do uh, the Lego mech suits, uh, Le Lego flex. Um, I would never usually do this kind of flex. Because it's just the mech suits, and the mech suits are fantastic. They're great. They look awesome. I haven't even done like a full collection of them because we've got probably like ten or maybe even twelve of them. We've got every mech suit they brought out in Lego term, um, but there's one in particular that makes me want to do like a mini collection flex video, and we'll get to them in a sec. But it's fucking awesome, and I was like, I really want to do a show and tell the visuals and show them our new. In fact, it was that awesome. I brought it up in a the the newest edition, the latest episode of the Solo Nerd News a few weeks back. So you can probably already tell which one it is. I'll probably use them in the thumbnail. Superhero Wednesday. Time for a Flexi Flex. Um, if you don't know what Lego mech suits are, it's just basically, I think they're 12 quid, apart from the, the one that we're going to talk about. It was 30 quid. They're usually about, about 12 quid. You just get a superhero or a villain. We've got a couple of Thanoses and whatnot. And we've got a Thanos to show you today. You put them in a mech suit and away you go. We've got Funko Pops on now. There's comic books. I think there's a, there's an, is there an animated show of it or a show? A short, I'm sure I saw some animation for it. But it's just basically your favourite Marvel heroes uh, and start chucking them in the mech suits. We've had Iron Mans, we've had Fours, Captain Americas, Black Panthers, Wolverines, plenty of Spider-Mans. Uh, Venom's got a big, big one, not one of the small, like, 12 pound 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 ones. But, uh, yeah, Venom's had one. Uh, Doctor Octo won. Um, and I think that's... Yeah, at the minute, but now to add to the collection and with slightly new design, which we'll get to, uh, we have the addition of the Hulk, uh, Rocket Raccoon, another Thanos, and Ghost Rider, who's the main one. In particular, we need to move because, like, I was going to set up on the table, but there's not, like, they're, they're, even though I really like them, there isn't a great deal to show. But this is the new Thanos mech suit. Um, so, so, as you can see, it quite literally is you get your hero or your villain and you, you, you chuck them in there. I always find it weird when they give Thanos like Hulk and that the, the little mini, um, the little mini figure because it just looks weird. And this one is particularly, is particularly is obviously more Endgame inspired with his double sided uh, blade. Somebody actually made that blade and said logistically it wouldn't work. And of course he has his Infinity Gauntlet dawning all of the Infinity Gems. And what I said to you before about how they've got different design. Can you see how the legs sort of like in this weird sort of little shape? It's it's fixed in that shape. You can't move it. The other ones have a bit more. Uh, play with them a bit more um, movability. Movability is that a word? But they've got these ones more fixed. But you can move the waist. So they, they do still stand up, and they just look cool. I need to get all of my mechs to be fair on a shelf and display because they're all sort of just spread out. I've got, I've got. Fuck, I forgot all about the Hulkbuster mechs because they're technically the kind of mechs, I guess. I've got loads of them. But I've got a couple on there. These ones live here now. I've got some in that room. I've got a couple downstairs. I should maybe get them all together, and we will do a mech video. But that's our finest what? Fanus. That's our finest. That's our finest one. Uh, that's our photo swan. Who just, who, again, they just look cool. And like I said, 12 quid. You build them in about 5-10 minutes. And they're just badass. And they make them fight. So when I finish building them, a 30-year-old, I'll set my bed and I'll go, oh, and I'll play with them. And I'm not even ashamed about that. Sir, where have you come from? I was getting our next mech and you've just interrupted. Uh, next up, hopefully this isn't the last time we're ever going to see him because that trailer we got for Guardians is going to be... It looks like it's going to be fucking heartbreaking, and I hope it doesn't completely cripple us. So you comfy there, pal. Uh, we've got Rocket Raccoon. Now, look at that bad boy. You've, as you can imagine, it's all about the guns. You actually do have a gun attached to his arm for the, for the minifigure. He's the only one that doesn't need to sit down his mech because he's already very, very small. And he's got his nice bushy tail at the back. Uh, again, with the, the new sort of leg designs and whatnot. And not else going on with the left hand. He hasn't got double weapons up, but that's just there for the punch. And this could just be... <laughs> I won't shoot them because they're not meant to get back, but this is one of the ones that you just twist your finger and they'll all pop off and shut. But I like this one. Obviously, it's a typical orange and brown sort of traditional Rocket Raccoon colour scheme. And there's probably not much more to say about this one. It's maybe 
maybe my least favourite out of all the new ones. But I, I still really like it. It's, it's a cool mech, but it, I don't think it's as cool as the rest. The, the, the Hulk one, which I'm going to show you. Why did I wink it? The Hulk one. Uh, it has one cool feature that I just kind of find weirdly funny. And it's probably a bit more basic than this one, but we'll talk about Hulk now. And here we go in the classic green and purple colour scheme. It is the Hulk. Now, the reason why I prefer this one, I just hit the camera there, is I think it's because in, even the Thanos one, uh, it's, it feels a bit more meaty. Of course it needs to be because it's the Hulk, so it needs to be a bit more large and like It's weird again seeing him just as a little minifigure, just such chilling. I could have given the angry face. I never give the Lego minifigures an angry face. I don't know why. I just don't want them to be unhappy. That's the, the the one feature I find funny. He's got a bit of a steel uh, work there. A bit of a girder. Just, just ready to uh, launch at somebody or just keep using it as a weapon or whatnot. All the radioactive symbols and shit. But yeah, do you see what I mean? This one compared to Rocket... It just, it seems a little bit more meaty, plus green's my favourite colour, so the colour scheme for me already wins. He's still got the purple though, as if like there is shorts to the mech. And again though, just like Rocket, it's a bit more basic and simple, but they look cool, they look fun, and they are fun to play with when you pretend to punch. Even though I just did like Hulk vs. Funnel, so I didn't really play with Rocket because I was scared to shoot the bullets and lose them and have to go find them, even though I've got loads of spares. But Hulk looks cool, but are we ready? For our main event, the one that is just so fucking sexy. Who's yours? You know it's Ghost Rider. If you have watched the edition of the news that we did, you'll know why. But this one comes with a nice extra accessory. The reason why it's so... Uh, I think it was 30 quid. It was like 25 or 30. It was at least nearly double the price of uh, the other ones. Because it comes with an extra bit of building assembly. And that is his bike. How fucking cool is that visuals? Just look at... You got the fire at the back. That... To me, that's just awesome. The fact that you've got a mini Ghost Rider. I'll bring his, uh, can I bring his chest down? Or has your one come up? Why isn't your chest coming down? Oh, there, there he is. Let's see. You've got your mini Ghost Rider inside of a mech suit on a bike. So this bike in the real world will, will be absolute. Like a normal car would be like that then. This will just roll right over it. And it just screams. It screams beautiful, perfect Ghost Rider design with, with how the bike looks. And I don't know what you call these. So I'm not a. Fucking, I'm not a machine head, not a motorhead. I don't know bike names and shit. Is that Harley Davidson? Might be one of them. Fuck knows. Um, but how amazing does that look? So, even the mech suit on its side would have been cool because you get his chain. Can you see his chain dangling from the back? You can you swap round. You can put it on Ghost Rider's hands and whatnot. But the mech suit on its own would have looked great and fantastic. But the fact that they added this aspect to it was just so much better. And not only did that. How terrifying would he be to fight in a mech suit? Because we already know that he could change, like, he could change his mech suit to just being all on fire and crazy and scary. Then he could, he's obviously done it to the bike and shit. And just the design of the bike itself, you can take Ghost Rider off, but it's a nightmare to line his hands up with the, the, the handlebars, I'm not going to lie. They don't, they don't quite hold on, you just have to make it look like they're holding on. Um, but he, he's just clipped on, can you see by his bum? You just hold on there, so you can have the bike on its own. But I was so happy when they released that, I was like, oh my god, they're doing a mech suit, awesome. But, oh my god, they're doing a mech suit Ghost Rider on a bike. And I had so much fun building this. And I have so much fun. It just, it's, you probably saw it at the start of the video. It li it lives right there, just down the side of the, when I put it away, you'll see if you notice it. But how cool is that visuals? Fucking amazing. Badass. Ah, Ghost Rider. Sick. So that, that was our mini flex for this week. I'm sorry if it wasn't the best one ever, but I wanted to do that. I wanted to uh, show off the new mech suits. I, I put them in the news, so I thought I'd better show them when I, when I eventually get them. There we have it, visuals. Um, please let me know in the comments below which your favourite new mech suit we've got. Maybe you preferred Hulk, maybe you preferred Thanos. And if you do want a full collection of all of our mech suits, including Wolverine, Black Panther, the Iron Man ones, the Spider-Man ones, the Doc Ock ones, the Venom, all of them, just let us know in the comments below, we can get it done. I can't imagine a lot of people not saying that this isn't the best looking mech suit because, well, I, I'm so happy my mind works in the way that it does and that I just will never grow up. I can't imagine going out and buying, like, how you know, having brunches and, and dinner dates and, like, oh, gosh, we're going to the, the, we're going to the summer house for the week. Spending the weekend away in the lakes. Fuck that. I want to build Ghost Rider Lek Mega Suits. Uh, with visuals, thank you for watching. Uh, you guys are the trust boys. Keep being you, Anki Pound, a web slinging arm. <laughs>